There are many similarities between trees, business and organizations. The tree is the symbol of life and perpetuity. It grows slowly, but well in fertile conditions. If it is starved of any of the ingredients that it requires for growth, it will either die or be stunted. It is for this reason that we have chosen to plant a tree to mark the inaugural year of the Zermatt Summit. We are indeed facing the greatest crisis the world has ever encountered. A crisis of purpose, a crisis of confidence, a crisis of indebtedness, a social crisis. Leaders must assume their responsibility towards the common good. More and more regulations alone will not be sufficient. We need to change hearts and minds. Welcome to the first Zermatt Summit Symposium here in Zermatt. One of the most important things in resonance is that the music for us is not a name in itself. What is universal in, in everybody, and that is the silence. There is no music without silence. The music comes from the silence and goes back to the silence. Welcome to the Zermatt Summit. This is a very important issue that you'll be discussing, how to humanize, humanize globalization. A system as such is amoral. It's not immoral, but it is amoral. It has no morality. The market fundamentalism has nothing to see with ethics. How can we behave in an ethical way in a system which is unethical and becoming, to some aspects, more and more immoral. We'll have to discover uh, what we have to do in order to adjust to the new challenges. We believe that a new balance between entrepreneurship, leadership and statesmanship is needed. In a world of information, I think it's high time to come back to true knowledge, deep wisdom, and life. So sustainable uh, development is not a marketing gag to help you sell more. It's not a gimmick in our capitalist uh, society. It is a question of changing paradigm to change uh, people's uh, mindsets. I'd like uh, people to say we were an economic success. I'd like uh, people to say this, uh, that we have uh, provided better well-being to people, a lot of awareness about nature, but perhaps we've also brought more love into society. I believe that, you know, globalization is necessary, globalization is inevitable, that the integration of countries like China, India and others in the global economy. Financial crises are uh, white swan events, they're not black swan random events. Uh, they're predictable and they're also preventable. Regulation came to the rescue of globalization. Still, what was regulated since the end of 2008 is not enough. We need more regulation in the financial sector. It's been eight years of hard work to reach a consensus among 163 countries to have the first international standard on social responsibility. We have to reinvent now a society. We have to f finish up that process of self-domestication by going into the economy, and in particular in finance, and saying this is time now to introduce the moral system within that particular realm, because if we don't do that right now, we're in deep, deep trouble. Humanizing globalization is our topic overall, and I think there is a way of achieving this through an analysis and a change to the ways in which companies are, are owned. 
That is not to change the formal ownership, but rather the behavior of the owners of companies. The consequences of continuation with this model, bringing everyone up to the sort of US benchmark, um, is our, distinction, our extinction by the end of this, uh, end of this century. I'm responsible for an organization which supports uh, social entrepreneurs, which is being done in 70 countries, uh, 3 million entrepreneurs throughout the world, and there are 300 million people involved uh, throughout the chain. Social entrepreneurship is uh, a, a global phenomenon. As you can see, it is uh, an old institution uh, created by uh, John Ash in 38. And the idea from the very beginning uh, was uh, to put the economy at the service of man. And uh, we've now been overtaken by history. But in 38, it was something that was quite uh, new and it was visionary. It requires a certain experience of God's love to open our eyes to the vision of others being our brothers and sisters, not to be cheated but to be loved in this common fraternity that we share, all of us being children of the one God and the one Father. Because we felt that ethics was too much connected with religion, and this is wrong. I believe that ethics uh, is needed for a corporate social responsibility to embrace a common good. The key point of individual behavior is exemplarity. Exemplarity is a mix between excellence and humility. Say the globalization started maybe a hundred years ago, but uh, my personal opinion it start, started in 1492 when Columbus quote unquote discovered the new world. We had started globalization. That the basic philosophers who found Western capitalism found that with the spirit that they were a limit to the greediness and the limit to an infinite accumulation which was just the self-sentiment of pity and compassion to others. The important thing is this. Europe, as far as I'm concerned, and the United States and Western countries, have created a large market economy that is to enormous degree based on clear records and laws as to who owns what and in what form. And that's what's breaking down. I worked on an idea of what I called kamikaze politicians. I wanted 200 people from 1 billion people who went into governance knowing that they would have to take decisions that were so unpopular that they would never be re-elected. But that within those five years, they could really make a difference and bring good governance. Anything that can stand the test of public scrutiny is going to result into common good. Uh, just to quote the first line of the Tata Group, purpose statement. It simply says, our purpose in Tata is to improve the life of the communities we serve. It just stops there. Uh, a for no man said one day was the, uh, the longest trip he ever took was the, the trip between his mind and his heart. If As long as you haven't taken this trip from your mind to your heart, you have not traveled.